Is it against the terms to have multiple Redbubble accounts? Well, I went straight to the source, AKA Redbubble, and this is what they said. And don't be judging my walls, okay? They're a little bare, but my pictures are coming, all right? What's going on, Lee Tribe? All right. A lot of you all have me concerned because you were leaving comments on my video saying you're not supposed to have more than one Redbubble account. It's not right. It's against their terms. You're going to get your account banned. And so I was like, oh Lord, I got these video videos out here <laughs> telling people about multiple accounts. And let me double check this. So I messaged Redbubble and they got right back to me. Long story short, it is a hundred percent okay to have multiple accounts. You can even use the same PayPal email. However, you just have to have a different email address, of course, and a different username. Now, instead of doing multiple accounts, they actually recommend doing collections, which is basically when you group your designs by type. So if you have a shop that has bird designs, dog designs, and cat designs, you can have a collection for birds, a collection for dogs, a collection for cats. And that's fine. And I know that's what a lot of you probably do. And honestly, guys, I know a lot of people that do very well having those hodgepodge sites like that or shops like that. But here's why I prefer niches over collections. After being an entrepreneur online full time now for 14 years, I learned a very, very important lesson on selling when it comes to having niches versus not having a niche. Now, a lot of you all know me from my to create a website website. And as great as that site did and still earns to this day passively from some things I set up back in the day, not relevant to y'all today, which is why I don't really talk about it because it would just come across as bragging because it's not relevant. But one thing that I learned about this site was when I started trying to sell products to people, one mistake I made was not niching down my audience or learning how to properly target my audience. So I had all these people on the site. Some people wanted WordPress tips. Some people wanted affiliate marketing tips. And so when I would put out products or courses, my content was only relevant to a very, very small percentage of my audience. And I didn't do a good job of segmenting that audience. Fast forward to when I launched Passive Sure Profits, even though this site was so much smaller in terms of the audience, didn't have near the audience as to create a website, probably a 10th of the audience, but my conversions for my products were so, so much better. And I actually did better with my course launches on this site, even though my audience was so much smaller. Why? Because I knew that everybody on my list and everybody following me all wanted the same things. So when it comes to print on demand, when it comes to websites, I prefer to have more niche audiences. And especially if you're thinking about building a brand and doing this long term, can you imagine having a brand and then you have a social media account and everybody following you is following you for different reasons. You got somebody following you because they liked your cat design. This person's following you because they like their, your bird design. I just feel like you have better conversions, better loyalty, and especially for the long term, when everybody following you pretty much wants the same things. Now, I'm not telling you guys not to do the random shops with your collections, but it's hard to ignore the results that I've noticed with my own business over the years. I just always think it's best when you know exactly who's following you. When it comes to targeting your products to them, you know exactly what they want. And that's why I prefer niche shops. And if you don't want to target a single audience, another option is to have a single type of art style that your shop is known for. A great example of this is Stephen Rhodes. This artist has been featured on Redbubble numerous times. You probably have seen his work. He only has 72 designs, but he's got like three quarters of a million favorites on his, on his shop. And it's because he has a very, very specific, unique art style, but all of his art is centered around that same style. So his followers all know the type of content they're going to get. So they're liking his stuff because they like this type of art style. So he knows that more of his followers will want to buy this type of thing. So it's not about the quantity of the designs. It's about how targeted are these designs to the people that are following you. And when it comes to websites, when it comes to print on demand, I just prefer to have niche 
shops. And that's why everybody's always talking about niche marketing and niche shops, because there is something to be said when everybody that's following you likes the same things. It's more profitable for a lot of people, especially long term. But having said that, some of you are doing just fine without doing this and just doing collections like you see here on my little dummy shop that I use for this site or this channel. I just have my designs grouped in three, three collections, hustle shirts, selling t-shirts and entrepreneur. And you can do this right inside your managed portfolio section of Redbubble. And for some of you, that might be fine. Now, I prefer to have niche shops and then have collections within the niche. So if you have a shop for turtles, right, just turtle designs only, you might have a collection for red turtles, blue turtles, pink turtles. That's what I prefer to do. Not saying it's the best, not saying it's the only way, but I'm a big fan of niche shops. But let me know what your experience has been like because I'm sure there's some of you that are doing just fine without niching down. If it works for you, do it. Thanks for watching.